Good day friends and students. Today I'm going to show you how to download the Invigilator app. Firstly you want to check if your phone has got Google Play Store or the YY app gallery. It will have either of the two. Your Samsung's will have Google Play. Your older YY's might have Google Play and your newer or if you updated your older phone you will have a YY app gallery. This is only for the YY phones because the new ones don't come out with Google Play. So you will use either of the two icons, click on it and open your app store. This is completely free so you don't need to pay for it. The only thing you pay for is your data that you will use. You can also go and sit in the closest KFC and ask them to borrow their Wi-Fi but the download takes like 30 or 40 seconds it's very quickly so in the search button you will put the invigilator app there we go your invigilator app is the little owl in the aquamarine icon box then you will click on it i have already downloaded the app but here where it says open it will say install then you click install on it Okay, after you installed, you can now open your app. You have to test it out first and put in all your details prior to your exam. You will not have time just before the exam to do this. So if you got the app, you'll go to login, which I'm assuming you don't, otherwise you wouldn't be watching the video of how to install it. So we're gonna register as a student. Again, it will say, getting out universities we are going to use UNISA because this is for UNISA then you'll put in all your personal details your details have to be absolutely correct otherwise it will show an error when you try to click sign up so let me explain it quickly you've chosen UNISA then your first name your last name your student number this is your my UNISA student number your email, it will be your My Unisa email, no other email, your My Unisa email. Then you have to confirm your email, so you just put your My Unisa email in again, just to the system just double checks to make sure you've put in the right details. Then your mobile number, and you're gonna have to make up a password. You choose your password, something that you can remember. And then you're going to confirm your password. So exactly the password that you put in there, you're going to put in by confirm. And then you will press sign up. If your details is wrong or you left something out, it is going to throw out your error. You can see there the error it gives, it gives me is the password or email does not match. Obviously because I didn't put anything in here yet. So let's go and we're going to do that. We're going to quickly sign up. Please write your stuff down, your, your MyUNISA email and your password for the app. So you don't stress out on the day of the exams looking for your password or your app. My phone has got option. You choose stay signed in, which is easier for me. Then I, then I stay logged in so I don't have to put everything on again. Now that you have logged in and activated your account, it will give you welcome to your invigilator. So this will basically show you exactly what to do. Exactly. So it's just going to make sure now that your app is correct, your phone is compatible, and it will take a few examples, selfies, and voice recordings. So let us go compatible with the app and show you how to use the app in the exam continue this tutorial is very important it's going to ask you allow the invigilator to record audio you have to say allow getting started on the bottom of your screen you will notice a timer which represents the amount of time left in your exam when the timer reaches zero it will progress it will progress you to upload screen where it will submit all files collected during the exam so this is your little timer in the corner there press continue selfie check at random intervals in the exam the app will ask you to take a selfie so basically what happens is the phone will vibrate so you have to have it next to you to make sure you can basically hear it 
So now it's going to ask you for a selfie. Continue. Attention, you will need to take a selfie now. Please make sure your face is fully in the camera. Now, I would suggest you take your mask off if you've got a mask on. Because whatever you use here on in your face is going to be your recognition for your actual exam. So let's take a selfie. There we go. Okay, now it says at random intervals the exam app will ask you to take a photo of something. Let's check if your device is configured. So it's going to take, it's asking you to take a photo of something close to you. So this is just a practice session, okay? This is just for practicing how it works. So you actually know on the actual exam. So take a photo, I'm going to take a photo of my book. Okay, there we go. Then microphone check, start. Test one, two, test one, two, test one, two, one, two, three. Okay, can you hear the alert? Now you couldn't have heard it on my phone, but I actually felt the vibrate. And it says everything looks good, test sound. You have to test your sound to make sure it is working. You can hear that? So if you can feel the vibration, you press yes. Success. Everything looks good with this device. We will now upload your data to save your collaboration on this device upload data uploading selfie so now it's just uploading all our details making sure it is me so now it's going to take you to your screen okay so before we do anything, you have to make sure your phone is charged. We are on the actual exam, for example, now. Today is my exam. You have to go and put your device location on. If you don't, your app will not work. Then it will say, start assessment. Scan the exam QR code or enter your exam access code to start. Then you're going to scan your code or enter your exam code. Let's put MNG. Um, oh, it doesn't really matter what you put to 602. Okay, and then start assessment. Allow the invigilator to access device location. Then you're going to put yes or allow only while in use. You cannot deny it you have to put yes verifying assessment okay now it's going to show error because that exam doesn't actually exist today so i cannot show you the rest but from there it is basically just putting your phone next to you starting your exam and the phone will vibrate when you need to do something like take a selfie or a voice recording it might sometimes just start and take its own voice recording without you even noticing it to make sure you are not talking during the exam. If you do, it will send the voice recording to your lecturer, which they will listen to it to make sure you did not talk to somebody else or somebody else did not help you with your exam. The random photos is to make sure that you are actually writing your exam and where you are when you're writing the exam let's say in your room or whatever so i hope this have helped you a bit um, i'm not the best at making videos but i think this should help you out a bit so watch this download your app prior to your exam at least two or three days prior to your actual exam to make sure that there's no problems if there is a problem so you can let the lecturer know or the university okay thank you and good luck with the exams